More than two years after $330 million was spent to upgrade the BJCC, we're asking if those upgrades are serving their purpose. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis joins us now. Kyra, representatives from the BJCC tell you that they're already seeing the benefits. Yes, Stephen, the Uptown Entertainment District has seen an upwards of $247 million in economic impact since that work was completed. Now, that's $50 million more than what the BJCC was seeing coming in pre-pandemic. But then you look at what the concert and the sporting lineup has been this year with you know, Alabama basketball, you know, just last week with Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart back in November, the concert lineup the squadron season, you know, the, the arena is going to have the busiest year it's ever had. The organization planned for 20 event days to happen in their first year after renovations. Instead, they held close to 80. It was just overall amenities in the building, whether it's you know, different types of food and beverage, different seating types, different ticket types, different opportunities for, um, you know, you know, you know, you know, technology, you know, I've got good Wi-Fi in the building. Those are the kinds of things that were beginning to, to make it more difficult to get shows. That difficulty now erased. Local businesses in the area are benefiting too. Especially all like the same month, like we have UAB games, and then we have concerts all in the same like week sometimes. So sometimes like we are hit different, we have to schedule different. Rowan's restaurant now ordering double the food just to make it through the week. Usually like our Monday truck, it lasts us till Thursday, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger and our Friday's just for the weekend, so it's a little smaller, but lately it's been kind of the same number for both trucks just cause like even during the week, we're pretty busy. Snyder saying this was the goal for all businesses in the area. And those investments are paying off in a big way. And some of the bigger events that the BJCC has planned for this season, the NCAA Women's and Men's Basketball Tournament, along with shows like Hamilton, which will actually be playing here tonight, that will stay for two weeks at a time. Live in Birmingham, Kyra Purvis, ABC 3340 News.